Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome to um, whatever this is, my, my collection show. Um, today I wanted to do a special episode talking about teddy bears that have been bought from different places. Um, some, some of them have been bought online, some of them have been bought at thrift stores, some of them have been bought at big box stores, etc. Um, so I just kind of wanted to show you and like compare the quality versus price compared to where I got all these teddy bears. So, okay, up first we're going to start with um, Wish, dot, uh, the Wish app um, toys. Now, the Wish app kind of gets a lot of notoriety for um, knockoff kind of stuff or really cheap quality stuff. Um, you can find a lot of stuff in there for very cheap, but a lot of times it is like knockoff kind of stuff. That's why it's so cheap. Um, and so the quality is a lot of time is not nearly as good, but we're going to kind of look at just a couple teddy bears that I bought of Wish. And I only got two teddy bears this time to kind of compare. So the first one, um, yeah, so this is a Mr. Bean, Mr. Bean, uh, a teddy bear, I guess. Um, I assume that this is from... The Mr. Bean Show. I, I've only seen a handful of episodes, maybe. Um, I guess if I would have seen the ones where he had a stuffed animal, maybe I would have been more interested. But, uh, I don't know. Mr. Bean's just really silly. It's an okay show. I mean, I feel like Mr. Bean is awesome. But, um, the teddy bear, as you can kind of see in the image here. Let's show it. That's, I guess, is what it looks like from the show. And this is what it looks like on Wish. According to the tag, this is like... Official Mr. Bean license? Like, like, according to the tag, which, uh... I don't know, this is... I mean, it seems pretty sturdy. It's a very simple toy. It is not something uh, like like young young children might enjoy this more than a collector would. Um, this is more like a toy for for very young children because it's very it seems very durable. I don't know as far as the materials though. You might want to look into that. You don't want to give your babies toxic teddy bears. Um, okay, so what's next? Um, here's the other one I got off of Wish, and this one was actually like a free one. Oh, by the way, real fast, um, all these teddy bears are within a $10 limit except for the last one I'm going to show you. So some of these were less than $10, some of them were right around $10, but I kept it in the similar range. Um, this one we got off of Wish, and this one was uh, a free one. You just had to pay shipping, and it's actually a opposable teddy bear, kind of. I mean, it was free, I just had to pay shipping. I mean, what what could you expect? It's a very strange shaped head on the side. That's kind of neat. For, for something that's free, I guess you could put a little thing on it and hang it from a Christmas tree. Or reenact, like, Salem witch trials. I don't know, do they hang witches or do they just burn witches? probably just burned them. I wouldn't recommend burning this. It would probably put terrible toxins in the air. Um, up next, uh, this, okay, this is another online purchase. This is a collectible from Amazon, uh, Amazon.com. Um, it's part of the, um, the Barrington collection. Or I guess that's supposed to mean something. Barrington Collection apparently is a place in Georgia. But uh, this is a small teddy bear. I mean, it's not nearly as small as the last one. Um, I honestly thought, it was, I mean, I didn't look at the description real well, but I, I, I kind of thought it was going to be a little bigger for the price. But uh, the quality is really nice. This is a really, really soft, squishy teddy bear. And he poses pretty easy. You can kinda... Hello! 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 
Anyway, so that's uh, that's the Barrington Bear. All right, so up next is, this is a bear that I purchased from a dollar store. It's Dollar Tree, actually. Um, it says Fuzzy Friends. I don't know if that's an actual brand or if it's just Dollar Tree brand. I'm guessing it's just Dollar Tree. So this was a dollar. Um, let me see it down here a little better. It's like one that lays down. You know, so if you wanted a teddy bear that was like sneaking around or uh, crawling like a baby, again, uh, probably mostly for young, young children. Um, the quality's not super great. I mean, you can tell. I'll show here. The, the eyeball is like the thread is coming undone. I guess you could just say they're eyelashes. No, it's just cheap garbage, but it's still kind of cute and it's very soft. It'd be good probably for younger children. I, I figure there's nothing toxic in that. Okay, up next we have a purchase from Goodwill. Um, and uh, Goodwill, it's always a crapshoot what you're gonna find there. But this was actually really, really nice, very simple teddy bear. Oh my God, he's so cute. I'm so shy. I didn't murder that man in the alley. We know what you did. We know. He looks innocent. But he's a vicious psychopath. No, this is actually a really nice teddy bear. Um, it's very soft. It's very, very fluffy. Um, let's kind of squish him down. It's cute, you know, it's, it's nice. Again, though, like, all these teddy bears so far are definitely more for children than just, like, straight-up plush collectors. They are nice quality, though. Um, the next one is... Oh, does it have eyeballs? I don't think it has eyeballs. I am eyeless. Oh, wait, no, there they are. They're just hiding. All right, so this is, uh, according to the tag, the world's softest plush. Um, it's ages zero plus, so you can give this to a fetus if you'd like. Um, this is really, really cute, and it is very soft. Softest? I don't know about that. that that's quite the claim. I don't know if you are the world's softest plush. You're definitely cute, you're definitely soft, and you're definitely for babies. All right, up next is a, another thrift store purchase. This was at um, a secondhand consignment shop kind of place, um, a local place. They have all kinds of stuff. Um, this is a big guy. I like his head on this camera. Always oh, so cute. So this one actually has the price tags on it. So I know this one was uh, $9. And uh, it was funny because there was a teddy bear right next to it. Like that was this size and way rougher not nearly as soft or nice as this one and it was like fifteen dollars i just i didn't quite understand the pricing i don't know i don't know maybe this one has fleas or something or lice maybe that's why it was cheaper but anyways it's really nice um it's very soft it's fun to it's fun to hug um unless it has lice or fleas and then it, it's gross but no i don't think it does that's just a joke it's it, it's pretty clean it smells fine um soft it's very squeezable this is a very very nice teddy bear I think uh, out of all the ones I've shown you um, except for the final bear I've got to show you this is probably the best that 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 I got in this batch um, these teddy bears are all varying qualities but uh, this one takes the cake for me this is my favorite um, Oh, also, all these teddy bears, except for the final one. The final one is my personal teddy bear for my collection. Um, all the other teddy bears will be donated um, probably to a youth shelter. Um, we'll we'll kind of see. I want to collect a few more. I don't just want to give them, like, here, here's two teddy bears. So we'll get a collection up, and then we'll kind of see. But we'll keep you updated. All right, the last one, but certainly not least, from my personal collection, 
probably what I would consider the best quality teddy bear I have is this Vermont teddy bear. I've had this for quite a while, so the elastic in his hat doesn't really stay on. But, uh, you know, you get the idea. Pretend there's a hat on there. Um, this is a Vermont teddy bear. Um, Vermont teddy bears are extremely high quality. Um, some of them are posable. I think they also have some that are non-posable. But these are extremely nice quality. They're pretty soft. They're not the softest. They're quite firm. They're very firm, firm toys. Like, they are not gonna, their shape's not gonna warp over time. This is very high quality. Um, here, so you can see the hat. That's what the hat looks like. Uh, this one, this, this Vermont teddy bear, it says, uh, Gangster of Love, and then, Who Loves Your Baby? So that's, that's really cute. Um, Vermont teddy bears are at Made in Vermont, um, which I also kind of like. It's actually, like, made, you know, like, it's not just, like, a mass-produced kind of thing. It might be mass-produced, but it's made in Vermont, at least. So at least you're, like, I guess, shopping somewhat locally. Um, but, uh, yeah, Vermont teddy bears are excellent, excellent quality. What's really neat about this, this one, too, is it comes with this little cool guitar case. And if you open it up, oh, isn't that cute? A little, a little rose from, from a cute love bear. That's adorable. That bear is, is really high quality. That one, the, the Vermont teddy bear, is probably the most expensive in the collection. Um, I don't remember for sure how much it was, but it was more than $10. Um, but I've had this one for quite some time. Um, man, maybe even 10 plus years, maybe maybe less, but, it, but it's somewhat new, but not real new. It's not like something I had when I was a kid. It was something I bought as an adult. This is one of my favorite pieces they had at the time, so this is what I got. Um, and yeah, Vermont Teddy Bear is uh, not not a sponsor at all. <laughs> Obviously, this is like my second video. I don't have those, but uh, uh, Vermont Teddy Bear has excellent, excellent teddy bears. You should check out their stuff. I'll probably put a little link in the description for that. And um, yeah, so that's uh, that's all the teddy bears. That's a whole bunch. Whole bunch of teddy bears. Let's see if I can get them all. See if I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I'll put the Vermont one over here. Can I hug all the teddy bears at once? Can I do it? Can I do it? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. So yeah, teddy bears. That's the teddy bear collection episode and reviews. Um, for the most part, uh, if you're not spending a lot of money, you're gonna get about the same quality. And there's nothing wrong with a ten dollar less um, plush. I gotta set these down. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, there you go. Okay. 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 So uh, okay. So there's um. There's not a lot of difference in in terms of quality between a lot of these toys. Uh, this one's this one's really nice for such a big toy. Usually the big ones are can be kind of cheaply made depending on the price range. And this being only an almost nine dollar toy, it's very nice. Um, so yeah, as far as teddy bears go, you can buy them pretty much wherever you want. Um, obviously, I anymore as an adult collector. I prefer to buy handcrafted things like from real plushy artists and things like that. And there's lots of those online, so definitely look out for those and support artists who need the need the money and need the work. These big box stores don't need the money, you know. They're just going to keep spending all their money on controlling our minds. So don't support mind control. Support local artists. That should be. That should be my slogan. Anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll see you, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.
Bye-bye.